Hello, my name is Kirk. Uh, I serve Christian Surfers as the Asia Pacific Director. And um, what a privilege it is to be just overseeing and connecting with um, all of the nations in the Asia Pacific region and really just partnering with what it is that God is doing. Um, and it is cr incredible to hear what he's doing um, in your part of the world as well. And that is um, just why I thought we'd put together our first leadership snapshot. And so this, uh, this is a video that's sent specifically to you as a leader of Christian surfers somewhere in the world. And um, what an amazing leadership team we have. We honestly couldn't do things without you and without your, your heart for your local surf community, whether it's on the beach or in the water. And we're just so grateful for everything that you're investing into Christian surfers um, each day and each week. But uh, in this leadership snapshot, I thought I'd just um, encourage you with this thought. Now, uh, I've just finished the affiliation process for the Asia Pacific region. Um, and each year we get to ask these questions and, and make sure that every nation uh, that is affiliated with Christian Surfers is understanding what it is, this mission that we're a part of with Christian Surfers International, what we're doing across the world. Sometimes it can get so small that you're just seeing um, what God's doing in your town, on your surf beach, um, but I can assure you God is doing um, amazing things across each nation and across the world. And um, as I was doing this affiliation, um, as I was going through the questions with each nation, uh, it really just got me thinking about this kingdom principle, which is if you are faithful with the little, then God will trust you with much. And as we look forward to 2030 with the, uh, the vision for seeing a thousand local missions or chapters in a hundred nations, we want those to be the most thriving, healthy ministries that, um, that you can imagine. And the way that we're going to get there is not necessarily by starting with going, right, how many people can we get together to create local missions now? But going, who do we have and how are we being faithful with what God has already given us? And so speaking to you as a leader, um, I want to encourage you to just ask that question of the Lord. God, what does it look like for me to be faithful with those that you have given me? With, uh, if you're a national leader, maybe those um, local missions or chapters that are in your region. What does it look like to truly be faithful with them in these next uh, few months and uh, in the years to come? What does it look like to be faithful um, at a local level? Uh, with the, the leaders that are serving week in, week out. What does it look like to be faithful to the parents and um, obviously to all of the members, all the people that are coming along week in, week out? And, um, and for me, <laughs> being faithful with what we have is really being a good steward, making sure that people are being seen, knowing that they are valued, knowing that they are a part of this um, move of God, to be faithful at a leadership level is going, who is my another? Who am I raising up? Who, are, who am I inviting along with me into my planning meetings, into my prayer meetings, into the time spent with team to go, what is God going to do in the next 10 weeks? What's God going to do in the next three months? And of course, you know, six months as you're planning out your year, who are those that you see leadership potential in that you want to bring alongside you and just have them sit in the room, have them join you in prayer, have them um, start to get them thinking about creative ideas of how we can reach more surfers or more people through our surfing communities. And, um, and obviously everything rises and falls on leadership. And so what we need is to be able to invest into our amazing leaders, those that we already have. And um, of course, when we're faithful with what God has given us, he doesn't just add, he multiplies. And so that's my heart for Christian surfers as a movement and for Christian surfers as we grow towards 2030. And I wanna see this thing absolutely achieved um, with flying colors because God is multiplying leaders. God is multiplying those that are being saved. God is multiplying um, the, the work that we're putting in and we're seeing the beautiful fruit, which isn't just uh, stuff or things, it is people and people coming to know our glorious, mighty God. And so, love and bless you. Hopefully we'll get to meet you if I haven't already met you soon, but be encouraged. Bye-bye.